Hello, my beautiful Virgo friends. This is Brandon. Fire Daddy Tarot. We'll throw some cards around for you today. Virgo, get a nice little uh, general read going on for you. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for all your support, all your likes, <clears throat> excuse me, all your comments, all your subscribes. I appreciate the love. I got the best community in the world, and I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. I <laughs> also uh, ask Source to help me see you. Speak clearly from the Virgo friends today. And what Virgo is seeing here, what they need to see and hear out of this for their highest good. Thank you, my guys. I cannot do this without you. I'm going to play with the uh, Spirit Song Tarot tonight. Also playing with the Moon Garden Tarot, or Tarot of Moon Garden, whatever you want to call it. The Yin Yang Oracles, and uh, still playing with Star Codes, Astro Oracles. Let me get my mouse up here off the way. All right. Spirit Song Tarot. Call it, please, for Virgo. Ooh, dude. Hot Pentacles. Hot Pentacles. You have to see that or not. Could be a card about uh, money struggles. This deck reads pretty positive. It says persistence and impossibilities on it. It's a way you can think of uh, Five of Pentacles energy. It can also be a card about worrying. Depends on what else comes out with it, Virgo. Let's see what we got. <laughs> We got an Ace of Swords here. Ace of Swords be about new beginnings. Virgo going on a new uh, adventure here of some kind. This is mental clarity, foundation. That'd be uh, building a new foundation for yourself financially. Working on your financial foundation. Maybe you've been a little worried about that. Let's see what we got, Virgo. Let's see what we got. Another card, please. Spirit Song Tarot for Virgo. Ace of Pentacles. I think I said Pentacles in that. That's the Ace of Swords. I'm sorry. This one's Ace of Pentacles. This one says Manifestation Prosperity. I think Virgo is working on uh, manifesting in some new money here. That's what it looks like to me. It's like you might have went through a money struggle recently. It did just come out of retrograde not too long ago. Retrograde can do those kind of things to you. Some chariots here. Definitely says you're moving out of it, whatever it was about. Definitely says you're moving out of it, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles, there's uh, your card. It's Queen of the World. This card talks about abundance, luxury, comfort, you know, prosperity. It's good for you, Virgo. Whatever this five was about, looks like a footnote at this point. I think you're already rocking it out. I think you uh, quickly reevaluated what you were doing. Started moving in a new direction. I don't know if this is about your career, about starting a business, or just about manifesting in some wealth in general. But whatever the moves you are that you're making, I'd say you keep doing them. I'd say you keep doing them. Whatever the plan is in your head, just uh, go for it. Get a king of swords coming out on that <clears throat> five of pentacles there. Who is this? Was this a boss? Probably. Possibly. I feel like this is a boss. It says logic and justice on it. Boss might have had some air in her chart. Put you five pentacles. Maybe you got laid off or something. And maybe they cut your hours. Not sure what happened with them, but it does say you've come out of it or you're coming out of it very soon, Virgo. Justice, yeah, justice is here. Justice on the Ace of Swords. It says you picked up, to me, it says you picked up the Sword of Justice and uh, you cut this off. You went in a new direction, whether it was career, starting a business, whatever you've done here, you went in a new direction. I don't think you're still working for that person. Page of Pentacles, there's some more Pentacle energy, and like I said, in the near future. Pages can be about the future. More Earth energy. More your energy, Virgo. Coming out on that Ace of Pentacles there. So in the near future, you've got uh, abundance coming in here. You've got prosperity coming in. You're manifesting it in the chariots here. You're moving toward it pretty quick. Moving toward it pretty quick. 
Three of Pentacles. It's a card about learning. It's a card about collaboration. Productivity. Things like that. I'd say Virgo is definitely rocking it out. That's what it says to me. You might be learning a new trade. You might be learning a new business. But you're definitely moving in the right direction with your finances here. That's what it looks like. Give me another card out of here, please. Yeah, seven pennant or seven um seven wands, I'm sorry. It's a card about preparation. You're uh you're preparing or you're preparing for this life. That queen there, your card. That says comfort and prosperity on it. That's what you're preparing for here. You're preparing for a whole new financial world, Virgo. I love this for you. Let's grab the uh, Moon Garden Tarot. See what I want to talk about on this for my Virgo friends. Like Virgo is making some huge money moves here. Definitely uh, walking away from their headed boss of some kind. Maybe they were not the best person to look to work for. To look for to work for. Anyway, let's grab Moon Garden Tarot. Shake it up. See what it wants to talk about for Virgo, please. Yeah, the lovers is here. It's a card about choices and trust. It's here to remind you in this spread that you have a choice of what you do with your life and you have a choice of what you put up with even at work. Because there's always other options for things to do to make money, isn't there, Virgo? Isn't there? Eight of Pentacles, it's a card about work. Putting in hard work for what you're doing here. You might have put in some hard work for them too, but they put you five of pentacles somehow. But now you're up to the eight of pentacles. I like what you got coming in here. Working on this manifestation, and it's coming for you. There's that page there. It talks about the future. Yeah, the fool's here. You did get out of that. Whatever that job was, you're out of it. It's here with justice. I love it, Virgo. This is great, man. This is freaking great. And the world's here. Whole new financial world for Virgo. Whole new financial world. Coming out right there with that manifestation energy. There's some more of that energy, energy of choice. Maybe when you walked away, you was a bit scared of walking away from that situation. Probably worried about your security, but it worked out good, didn't it? I don't know if you already had something lined up. Because you do have this card about preparation here. But you made the right choice. Even if it was a blind choice. This is awesome, Virgo. I love it for you, man. I love it for you. Big, like, abundance manifestation energy on this. Let's grab the uh, Yin Yang Oracles, man. See what they want to say on this for my Virgo friends. Nice uh, manifesting some new material wealth into your world. Got away from some kind of crappy boss and work situation down there. And went for it. Oh, went on a new journey here, Virgo. All kinds of good things going on for you right here, it looks like. All kinds of good things. What we got? Storm unexpected. Like I said, maybe you got laid off or something. Whatever happened here was unexpected. What happened, dude? Y'all tell me in the comments exactly what happened in your situation for the Virgo I'm reading for. Here's some of their air energy right here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Like I said, that old boss, whoever that person was, partner, boss, business partner, whatever. They had some air in their chart, most likely. Caused you to go full on them. Start a new journey without them. Limitations and fears. I kind of got a feeling on that thing down there that uh, it was the thing about just wanting to control, maybe micromanage everything. Doesn't really matter now because you got the world here, don't you? <laughs> Present abundant gratitude. Probably pretty thankful you got out of the situation, aren't you, Virgo? Probably pretty thankful for what you got going on now. Whatever this is that you're manifesting in. Keep that uh, attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for every little thing you got, even the lessons you've learned here. 
Even the lessons you learn, Virgo. Freedom. Uranus. Talks about opportunities on the bottom of that. Yeah, I think you saw new opportunities. Choice might have been scary. You might not have been sure about the one you chose. But it does look like the opportunity you chose to pursue was the right one. Well, it's the right one. At least that's what I'm getting here. All right, Virgo. Let's grab a couple of these uh, star code ash oracles on this for you tonight. Finish this read up nice. Astro oracles. We got from a Virgo here that uh, got out of a crap work situation and is going on to some uh, major abundance up here at the end of this. We got Astro oracles. Give me a card, please. Virgo Chiron Heel. In this, it's talking to me about kind of healing your financial situation. And then again, if this person was playing on your fears and stuff down, whoever this was that you worked with, you're going to heal from that. Your money situation is going to heal. It's all over this spread that you're manifesting in some wealth, some money, and some comfort. There you go, man. Invitation. Invitation. This is the descendant in this deck. This is invitation. Um, this might have happened simultaneously that this situation went to crap and this one just kind of presented itself. And a lot of times things do come like that. The universe opens doors for us. We just let it, huh? Transits, climate, yeah, this is definitely an abundance thing down here. I'd say you got that climate going on in your world right now, Virgo. I like this for you, man. This is great. Let's get one more of these. Just one more. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's get an overall from the Moon Garden Tarot. <clears throat> Shuffle them up on time for Virgo. Virgo, a nice overall at the end of this from the Moon Garden Tarot, please. One card for Virgo. Shuffle them up real quick. See what it wants to talk about. I do like this for you. This is very nice. Very nice. Star. Card about destiny. Like I just said, a lot of times things like this happen off, happen simultaneously. It's a card about destiny, and it's also a card about healing, Virgo. You're the star in this, my friend. It's your story, dude. Write it. Anyway, if y'all enjoyed that, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.